I think it's really funny when you see a lot of these people like Garth Brooks, for example, who probably has a lot of fans that are not fans of Bud Light anymore. They're probably not drinking that beer right now. He comes out of nowhere and just defends Bud Light and goes after the people that are boycotting the brand. And it's like, why even... Why even do that? What is your deal? Like, it just seems like a dumb business decision. I think the smart thing, if if you feel the way you do about it, Garth Brooks probably would have been to said say nothing. But he thought it would have been smart business to defend Bud Light and tell people that don't want to drink it to go to a different bar. So in case you don't know, he's opening up a bar on Broadway in Nashville. It's a very famous street. It's basically nothing but bars and live music. like Every bar on that road has live music, and they're all packed. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's a crazy place. A lot of fun, actually. Uh, but I would imagine a lot of people probably won't be going to his Friends in Low Places bar. So he's opening one of those up, and he said, if you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. And uh, he also, effectively, I believe he actually did say uh, those people are a-holes. Probably was not the best move. Well, he's walking it back and doubling down at the same time, which has got a lot of people, and we're going to go through some of those responses, a lot of people giving him the finger. And this boycott's pretty real. Boycott's pretty real. I mean, look at Target. Target gaining on Bud Light now down a staggering fifteen billion. I'm wondering if you could see to- uh, Target collapse over this because, like I said before, like they're not Bud Light; they're a goods store, a goods and services store. Like they sell goods. Bud Light is good. It doesn't need a store. <laughs> I mean, it needs stores, but it doesn't need a store. There's no Bud Light store. You have to go to convenience stores and rest or restaurants and grocery stores to get it. They're not going to go away, but Target could. Target could absolutely collapse, and now they're down big time. Retail giant ended the week down $15 billion since going viral. Uh, that's bad. Not a good thing for them. So Garth Brooks comes out. I love diversity. Country star Garth Brooks defends serving Bud Light at his friends in low places bar. I mean, nobody would have said anything. Of course you're going to sell Bud Light there. I mean, it's not like the beer has has went away. Now, he probably would have had more people coming if he had said, yeah, we're not selling that beer here. But if you're going to have it in there, okay. But he came out and made the point that it's going to be there. We'll have it. (laughs) <laughs> that was stupid business. Now he's coming back. And I don't know if the exact quote is in here. Here's some of it. He says, let's address two things on it. He said, one is diversity, inclusiveness, and inclusiveness. That's me. It's always been me. We got the same kind of thing on we shall be free. People wanted to burn our stuff. I get it. Everybody has got their opinions. He was referencing the 1992 track, We Shall Be Free, which some country radio stations refused to play at the time because of its progressive themes. The song included lines such as, when we're free to love anyone we choose, then we shall be free. Brooks added, inclusiveness is always going to be me. I, I think diversity is the answer to the problems that are here and the answer to the problems that are coming. So I love diversity, all included, all are welcome. I understand that might not be Other people's opinions, but that's okay, man. They have their opinions, and they have their beliefs. I have mine. Second thing, let's talk about being a bar owner. I'm a bar owner now. We are going to have the most popular beers in this thing. Yes, it's not our call if we do or do not. It's the patron's call, the bosses. If they don't want it, then I got to do 
then I got to go to the distributor saying, man, your stuff's not selling. And then actions getting taken. But the truth is it's those people in those seats that make the decisions. And that's what friends in low and little places is going to be. Is it friends in little places or low places? Yeah, up here they have friends in low places. And that's the name of a song, a good song that he uh, made a long time ago. Uh, he made that song a long time ago. So I don't, I don't know. Is it little or low places? He said, customers come in and love tolerance, patience, and come in with an open mind. If you're one of those people just that just can't do that, I get it. If you ever are one of those people that want to try it, come Let's go have some fun. What is his bar? Is it like the, like, is he going to have drag shows in his bar or something? The way he's talking? So, okay, I get what he's saying there with, yeah, we're going to sell the most popular beers, and Bud Light is still the number two beer. Again, no one would have said anything if he's just, because I bet you all the other bars on Broadway have it. Whether or not they're selling, I don't know. Uh, but, the way that he put that the first time, like, here it is. If, if you're an a-hole, there are plenty of other places on Lower Broadway. What? You know, like, why are you attacking your fans? So, I mean, a lot of people are mad at him. And it's really captured over here. Garth Brooks faces boycotts after calling Bud Light boycotters a-holes. Like, people are, like, burning their records. Like, here's one at Garth Brooks. I was a huge fan of yours back in the early 90s before you fell into the trap of being a star before you left your high school sweetheart. Remember her? It was always about the fans. Now we're a-holes for boycotting Budweiser. Welcome to the boycott. There are bar galore. There are bars galore in Nashville. Stay at a liberal Garth Brooks's nasty watering hole. That's a good point, too. I mean, there is no shortage of bars in Nashville. Especially on Broadway. There's about probably 50. I don't know. I don't know how many. All all I know is when I was there, you could literally walk in and out of one every couple of steps. So you already got stiff competition. Then the, the selling point of your bar is that it's yours. And you're destroying your name when you never had to say a damn thing. You never had to get involved in this. This is what's so wild about this. He never had to get involved in this at all. He never had to say a damn thing. But he decided he wanted to run his mouth and attack people that didn't want to drink the beer. This is so stupid. What kind of businessman are you? Here's another one. If you live in Tennessee, I recommend you never go to Garth Brooks's new bar. They're going to sell Bud Light, and apparently he thinks we're a-holes. If we don't like it, make sure all your friends know. So, like I said before, I bet you every bar on Broadway has Bud Light. Whether or not it sells, I don't know. Probably not as good as it used to. I, I don't think anyone would have boycotted his bar for, not, for, for selling it. They just wouldn't buy it. But it's the way he acted about it that got everybody all riled up. Boycott Barth Brooks. Here's a post pointing out that he cheated on his, his old wife. Uh, Garth Brooks definitely sells Bud Light at his new Nashville bar and calls boycotters a-holes. I mean, <laughs> not going over very well for him. And then, you know, Target, not doing well either. So, man, like, I just, what what is with the need to get involved in that? What a dumb idea. And I bet you he probably saw, he probably saw some negative effects of what he was doing and quickly tried to readdress it. But the way he readdressed it looks like he's doubling down. So, I mean, it was just a dumb, it was a dumb position to put yourself in, Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks, that's what we should call him. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, comment below, like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter, 
over here. I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.